Hi, what's up guys? It's again Dr. Mozam Tewana here. And in today's lecture, we are going to talk about how the logical channels are used in the GSM network to set up a call. Uh, in this scenario, we have assumed that this is a mobile station which has already registered itself with the network. That means that network knows about its position in the network. And there is a uh, fixed telephone user which basically want, uh, is calling this mobile station. Now, when this fixed telephone user, fixed telephone user calls this mobile station by dialing its number, it, this call is basically routed from PSTN to the MSC. Now, MSC has to inform this mobile station about the uh, incoming call. And this mobile station, while it is registered to the network, is constantly listening to the PCS channel, uh, which is be, uh, which is transmitted from the base station. So this MSC instructs this BTS to inform this mobile on the paging channel or PCS channel about the an incoming call. And this mobile station will then use the RAD channel or the random access channel in the uplink to respond uh, or to acknowledge that it has received the uh, paging request from the MSC. And after that, once uh, this has been acknowledged by the mobile, basically the mobile station, uh, the MSC assigns uh, on, on using an AGCA channel or access grant channel, uh, channel MSC assigns a standalone dedicated control channel to this mobile and this standalone dedicated control channel is assigned on the access grant channel by the network and once this standalone dedicated control channel has been assigned basically mobile responds uh, that uh, are it okays or acknowledges this assignment of the SDCCF channel and as we know that this SDCCA channel is a bi-directional channel that it exists simultaneously on the uplink and the downlink. So in the uplink basically uh, mobile station acknowledges this the assignment of SDCCA channel on the same SDCCA channel. So once this initial signaling is com complete uh, after that basically the network wants, wants to de uh, determine whether this is a valid mobile user or not. So on the same SDCCF channel, the network requests a mobile to give his credentials or to authenticate itself. What is authentication procedure? Uh, we will come to, uh, to it in some uh, later lecture. So once uh, it mobile station receives this authentication request on the SDCCH, a standalone dedicated control channel, then it will respond on the same SDCCH with its authentication uh, parameters. And once this mobile station has been authenticated, then the network will ask this mobile on the SDCCH channel to cipher its communication with the base station. And similarly, mobile station will, uh, MSC will also instruct the base station to start ciphering its communication with the mobile station. So uh, once uh, that has been, uh, this procedure, the ciphering procedure has been completed, uh, in, then the mobile station will uh, respond by the cipher mode complete that now I have started ciphering my communication with the BTS. So after that, now when the authentication and the ciphering is complete, then the next step is the Set up the uh, setup of the call. So uh, the networks basically um, sends a setup message using the same SDCCF channel to the mobile station that everything is okay. Now we can proceed with the uh, setup of the uh, call. And this mobile station they will then confirm the setup of this call in the uplink or the uh, call confirmed message. Now, we know that the uh, voice call or the uh, data call uh, is basically set up on the TCS channels. So this means that network now uh, has to assign a TCS channel to the mobile station. So in the next 
uh, uh, SDCCH, basically it uh, the network will assign a TCH channel to this mobile in the uplink and the downlink using the assignment command. Now straight away we cannot use this TCH channel for a uh, voice call but before that we need to complete some signaling and that signaling will be done and on the TCH channel that has been just assigned and uh, as we discussed earlier that basically a fast associated control channel is the same TCH channel but it is used when you, uh, you, uh, there is a TCH connection between the base station and the mobile station and you don't have a dedicated channel for the signaling and you have an urgent need for the signaling. So that TCH channel will act as an FACCH or fast associated control channel. So this TCH channel will now be acting as the fast associated control channel and basically the mobile station will acknowledge the assignment of TCH, uh, TCH channel on the FA CCH or fast associated control channel and once this assignment is complete then uh, mobile station uh, will send an alert message to the MSC and this would mean that the this user which has dialed this mobile station will start hearing the dial tone this means that uh, everything is okay and the, uh, the person or the mobile station that this uh, user of this fixed telephony network is dialing is hearing the ringtone. And once this mobile user starts hearing the ringtone and he actually uh, pick up the mobile station and connects uh, the call, then the mobile station will send the connect message to the MSC via the BTS and the BSC. And then the MSC will basically uh, connect this mobile user with this uh, fixed line user means the end to end uh, voice connection or the data uh, voice connection in this case will be complete. And then it will acknowledge the mobile station about the successful setup of the call. And once this message has been uh, conveyed to the mobile station in that after that the regular call which will be carried on the TCH channel the voice call in this case will be started. 